How you doing, Rasmonites? I apologize if there's any background noise today. My dog is still adjusting to our new environment here, but yeah, that's why this video is so long overdue because I was moving and work was crazy before I moved, but I'm finally here to talk to you about and give you my opinions on the Cincinnati Reds firing Dusty Baker and naming former pitching coach Brian Price as their new manager today on the Razman's Reality. that I have with Baker is that he doesn't make smart decisions a lot of the time. And the biggest one was, and honestly the reason I think he was fired, was that he made the decision to start Johnny Cueto in that game against Pittsburgh. And yeah, Cueto has the reputation, but Cueto was injured most of the 2012-2013 season. So, why would you not go with either Matt Latos or Homer Bailey, your two starting pitching horses that had got you to where you were? So, I wasn't really surprised at all that Baker was let go. Where the surprise came in for a lot of Reds fans was the promotion of Brian Price to manager. I, for one, am not surprised at all by this move because Brian Price was directly responsible, in my opinion, for all of the Reds' recent division-dominating success. If that pitching staff hadn't been turned around, if he hadn't been able to turn Homer Bailey into a dominating pitcher that threw two no-hitters in consecutive seasons, if he hadn't been able to get Matt Latos to be a more consistent pitcher and go deeper in the ball games and really change his entire way of pitching to adapt to the surroundings of Great American Ballpark. If he hadn't convinced closer or all Chapman to start throwing breaking pitches and if he was still throwing nothing but fastballs, I don't care if he do throw over 100 mile an hour the majority of the time. If he throw nothing but one pitch, guys are going to time it and guys are going to sit on it and guys are going to have success against you. So to me, the Reds pitching was their driving force. And another example that I forgot to give was the bullpen this past year. A lot of injuries in the bullpen and guys just got plugged in the spots they never got plugged into before. Alfredo Simon, Sam McCurr, and J.J. Hoover mainly and they were all able to rise above it and be the most dominating bullpen in all of the National League statistically. So you'll look at all those factors and Brian Price is the right choice to manage his team because if you go outside of an organization you can mess with a team's chemistry and this team is built to win now. And the biggest difference I think that Brian Price is going to bring to the table that Dusty Baker didn't do is Brian Price is a player's manager. He loves his guys, yes, but he will make tough decisions when tough decisions need to be made. In other words, he will go with the hot hand. He would have went with a Matt Latos and or Homer Bailey in that game and not a guy with a reputation like a Johnny Cueto. And he will 
make changes to the lineup where he sees fit. He wouldn't have been afraid to start Billy Hamilton in that game, or at least utilize Billy Hamilton in that game, regardless of how young he was, because Billy Hamilton came in and changed the dynamic of the offense when he was promoted. So those are the kind of things I think Brian Price will do. So I applaud Walt Jockerty and the Castellini family for their decision for that reason. And also, I honestly feel that Brian Price would have been pursued by other teams had the Reds not made the choice that they made. And if you just look at John Farrell and the success that John Farrell had somewhat in Toronto, and then he was the Boston pitching coach for a year and was promoted directly to manager there, and now Boston's in the World Series at the time of this video. So all those factors really vote well in favor of Brian Price. I am very, very happy about it. So if you're a Reds fan, tell me what you think about it, either through comments or do a video on the subject, then let me know that you did it. I'll make sure you to check it out since YouTube stupidly got rid of video responses. And as always, the contact information for the company I work for, Indy Enterprises Inc., can be found down below in the description box. Please do me a solid and follow all of their social media if you haven't already done so. It greatly helps me out. And if you'd like to apply to become a full YouTube partner through the Full Screen Entertainment Network, you can find my referral link down below in the description box as well. This is reality according to the Razman and Razman style. It's not just a catchphrase, but a way of life.